I often get asked questions inside the YouTube comments or inside of our community that would make for a really interesting video, but the topic is just so narrow that I don't think it would make for a very long video. I've always kind of strived for the 10 to 20 minute mark here on YouTube, and some of these ideas could probably be explained in a minute or two. Well, today I'm gonna go ahead and do one of these short videos because I think it's a really helpful tip that will make your life a whole lot easier in the future. And what I'm talking about are these short little accent lines you'll often see on either side of a heading. When I've watched people build these out before, a lot of times what they'll end up doing is creating a lot of HTML, they'll have a grid block and put in separators and align everything, and it ends up being a whole lot more markup and a whole lot more work than you really need. What I'm gonna show you today is being able to accomplish this look using CSS, using the before and after pseudo elements. Once you add this code to your website, you can easily style any element with this effect. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. So we got a pretty simple setup here. We just have a headline that says get support, a big H2, some paragraph text, and then a support form. Now what I want to do is actually add the accent lines to this get support line. So we need to do two additional things here inside the builder. The first is we need to give this headline a class because we're going to have to write some CSS. So I'm going to call this accent lines because naming things is hard and that's good enough. And then we're gonna scroll up here under the layout panel and we're gonna change this from the default display to display flex. When we do that in this layout, I have everything centered. So we're gonna go ahead and have to justify the items back in the center again to get us back to where we started. And changing this to display flex, it's gonna help us later align things inside the CSS. Now that we got that updated, we can go ahead and jump over to the front end and start writing our CSS. So I'm gonna look at the front end here and hit customize so we can jump into the customizer and we'll start writing the CSS we need. The first thing that we need to understand is that to create these lines, we're actually gonna create a before pseudo element that will go before the text and an after pseudo element that will go after the text. Now we do have to write some properties for the before and the after, but there's some common things both of them are gonna share. So we're gonna actually break up the CSS to put the shared elements together and then the individual ones on their own line. If that doesn't make sense, it will here in just a second. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in accent hyphen lines and we're gonna do a double colon and write before and then we can do a comma, we're comma separating these. So we're gonna apply the same set of rules to two different classes here. So we're gonna do accent hyphen lines colon colon after. So essentially what that's doing is saying, hey, apply whatever I'm gonna to say to both the before and after pseudo element. So now I've opened and closed my curly brackets and to use the pseudo elements, we're going to have to put a content line in here and we're just gonna put two quote marks, which means that it's just blank content. Now the next thing we have to decide is how wide do we want these accent lines to be? To do that, we're just gonna select a width. For now, I'll just do 20 pixels. We'll play with this and be able to adjust it later. Now we want to decide how thick these lines are gonna be and what color they're gonna be. And to do that, we're gonna do a border bottom. So here on the border bottom, we can decide how thick it is. I'll just say one pixel for now. And then we need to tell it if it's solid or dashed. We can just say solid and then we can pick a color. For now, we'll just say red so it'll be really obvious. Now you can see it on the screen. Now, the last thing we need to do is kind of get these into place. What we're gonna do is do a margin and we'll do auto. And what this will do will actually kind of center it vertically. Now you see they jumped out to the edge of this line here, but we're gonna bring them back in with the CSS that we'll write next. So outside of that rule, we're gonna do accent lines again. We'll do colon colon before, and this time we're just writing something for the before. And for this one, we're gonna do margin right, and we're gonna do this, let's say 0.5 EM. And you can see now it's actually brought that accent line closer to the headline there. It's now a half of M away from the actual text inside the line. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and copy that rule here, paste it down, and we'll change this from the before to the after. And instead of margin right, we want to do this as margin left. And you can see now it's brought it in to the right hand side close to the edge of the text. So now it's just a matter of playing around with the styling and getting it to look exactly like you want. So we could change this to maybe 40 pixels if we want them a little bit wider. And we could change them to light gray if we want to change the color and make it a little bit more subtle. So now that we have all of this in place, we can go ahead and hit publish. And if we wanted to, I don't know, let's say we decide we don't want those accent lines here on this text, we can go down here to this accent lines and cut it out. And we could go to this H2, paste it in there, make sure we have this change to display flex and we center that content. 
And now if we open it up on the front end, we'll see our accent lines are now attached to that H2. So that's a really nice thing about doing this as a class because now we can apply it across anywhere on the site without having to add a bunch of different markup and structure inside of our document. Now there are a few different ways you can accomplish this. The one I showed you today is a very simple way to do it, but there can be caveats depending on exactly what kind of layout you're going for. But this is a great starting place to go ahead and get these accent lines in place and be able to use them throughout your site. I'd really love to know if you enjoyed a smaller little tutorial video like this. I could probably crank out more if I was able to do shorter ones. So I would love to know down in the comments what you thought about this video and if it was helpful and if you have any suggestions for future videos I could do like this. As always, if you hit the thumbs up button, that really does help send this video out to more people. And if you hit subscribe, you'll make sure to not miss the next video I upload. We'll catch you on the next one.